Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lisa and this is Growing on Vancouver Island. Today is June the 5th and I'm going to take you on a tour of our vegetable garden and show you what's going on. So let's go. So here we have some of the garlic that I planted last fall. This garlic in this area here, this is the garlic I got from an elderly neighbor and it's been growing like, I'm just so impressed with it. This is the first time I've ever grown garlic this fall slash this year, or last fall slash this year, and it's growing pretty well. I think I'll probably start harvesting it probably late July. Everything is behind this year from our very cold and wet spring slash summer that we're having. And beside it, we have some onions and it looks like they're starting to go to flower so I wonder if I should be harvesting these I'm not entirely sure when to harvest onions if you have some tips about harvesting onions please let me know in the comments below just keeping my eye on the supervisor because he loves to get into trouble in my little garden. We'll see if he does anything naughty today, but uh, let me tell you, I catch him in all kinds of things in here. So back to the tour. Yes, I'm unsure when to harvest my onions, so if you have any advice, please leave it in the comments below. And we're going to move over here now in this direction of the garden this beautiful flower plant here this is a calendula and it uh, reseeded itself from last year I had a whole bunch of calendulas that I planted from seed last year in the garden and they came back and they're just growing beautifully so I like to allow flowers to do that if they're gonna come back let them grow there's a stray strawberry plant and this giant <clears throat> monstrous plant is my standard raspberry bush just a red a red raspberry bush that is taking over the whole plot pretty much it's full of these flower buds just if you can see that it's a great day today those are all flower buds there's many 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 on this bush all over but it is a giant bush so it should have a lot of flower buds over here these are my more unique raspberries I have a I think I have a fall gold and I also have a everbearing raspberry called honey queen I planted this last fall it gets whitish orange colored berries that taste absolutely delicious very different than your red raspberry i think almost sweeter just got a little bit of a different flavor but very very good and beside it here we have a butternut squash seedling actually we have two of them these were the seedlings I grew in my milk jugs. I've started to slowly transplant them outside into the garden. And if you're wondering what little contraptions I have over top of them, these are not your standard garden clonch that you might think they are or suspect that's what they're for. And in some ways they are. These are simply protection from my garden supervisor. He has a taste for young squash, zucchini, cucumber, and melon leaves. I have caught him red-handed numerous times. I even took a picture long before I did YouTube of him taking a giant bite out of one of my zucchini plant leaves. Like that is his absolute favorite delicacy is melons, and squash and cucumber leaves. So if I don't protect them, these plants will not survive. It would be a daily occurrence that he would try to come and be a scavenger in my garden. 
Even when my garden was fenced, I used to have chicken wire around it. He would break in and steal all the leaves he could find. So that is what those are for. Here we have some lettuces. These I started in my house in the winter time, late spring, early, late winter, early spring. And they are growing pretty well, although slow because our weather has been so cold and so wet. And here is the garlic. The other garlic that I planted in the fall, this garlic is called music and it is pretty tall. It is now, if you can see that, my shoe. And here's one leaf of garlic. It goes, you can't really see it. It goes all the way past my hip and I'm five foot four. So this garlic is, whoo, I want to say it's three and a half, maybe, maybe three and three quarters of a foot tall. And there's no end in sight to its growing. I thought it was slowing down because it's getting these little yellowy tips, but I actually think it's not. Now that I've measured it, I think it's getting taller. So over in this corner, here we have, I believe this is another squash. I think it's butternut if I remember right. Or no, spaghetti. I have one of each. And again, we've got some protection from the supervisor. And here, this actually doesn't have a seedling in it. I went around my garden and, ooh, we've got a little visitor. <laughs> a little intermission. This bird has been following me around the garden all day. I was doing garden chores earlier and I swear it's following me around. I'm not really sure why. I don't mind, it's very cute, but it's just a little curious creature. I just thought I would show you this little friend that's been fluttering around following me all day. So back to here, I planted just a few seeds directly in the soil because I wasn't sure initially if my milk jugs were going to work out. And they haven't sprouted yet, but I'm quite sure that they will. So I still have milk jug seedlings as well as seeds that I put here. So I'm probably going to have a lot of extra plants, but I wanted to be on the safe side in case some of them don't work out or they get eaten. Then I have backup plants. And over here, we've got some of my alpine strawberries. They're like a yellowy, whitish orange color. They taste like cotton candy. Absolutely delicious. I did a video earlier in the year about how to fertilize strawberry plants. And let me tell you, I think these plants are living their best lives. I grew these from seed last year. Whoop. Let me zoom out. I grew all these plants from seed last year. There's a, they're all around the perimeter of my garden. And they are doing so well. They are from the company West Coast Seeds, if you're in Canada. It's not my favorite seed company because I don't have great germination sometimes, but these seeds were awesome. So if you are in the market for strawberry seeds, a great one to try. Over here in this corner we have three of my honeyberry bushes I planted last spring. This spring was the first time they ever flowered and we have an exciting development. Let me show you. Here we go, we have honeyberries. At least in the undeveloped stage, we've got them. You never know if they'll survive until it's time to harvest them, but there are a few on this little bush. And I think there's actually, actually quite a few on here, I'm surprised. I think there's some on my other bush. I saw them earlier and now I just cannot find them. Probably not very many on this bush. I didn't actually check all of my bushes, but I wouldn't be surprised because I think they all did flower. So there's probably a few berries on each bush, which is super exciting. Coming around this way, this is one of the alpine strawberries again. 
and it's got little tiny little berries that are starting to form. So that's very exciting. Over here, this is a freshly planted beefsteak tomato plant. I planted two of these. I'm not a huge consumer of tomatoes, but I just decided I didn't want to miss out on growing tomatoes this year. So I bought starter plants. I just didn't grow any from seed this time. And beside it, these little seedlings are all cucumbers. I ended up seeding some containers of cucumbers and melons because I wasn't sure at one point if my milk jugs were going to work out. And in the one container that I seeded, the cucumber seeds I put in sprouted super fast and I had 100% germination. I put nine seeds in and I got nine seedlings. So I have transplanted a few of them into the garden and I will probably do something with the rest of them. I'm not sure what yet. There's my other beefsteak tomato. Some more of my alpine strawberries. Here's some kale, one of the greens that's doing better in my garden. I only seeded a little patch, but it's growing very well. I should probably start eating it actually. And here are some more of my alpine strawberries. They bloom from spring pretty much until fall and they produce continually. They're absolutely amazing, these berries. And this is, I believe it's my bok choy. I had a few flowers and Zipper decided to eat some earlier or pick them, you should, I guess you could say. I think he was trying to tell me that they shouldn't be flowering. And he's right, they really shouldn't be. I never got to eat any, they just bolted. But, um, so that's what's happening with my bok choy. And I finally have peas. After three times of seeding these things, I had one left the first time. They kept getting eaten by the birds or some other creature. So here's one. I've got one back there that for some reason is not climbing. There's another one there. There's one here. So finally, I don't have many, but I have a few. I mean, I put in so many seeds. It's still possible many more will come up, but I'm kind of doubting it. So in the middle, let me see, did anything? No. I did have some bok choy and pak choy, although I've transplanted it mostly over here. And again, a lot of it is bolting. And yeah, it's just not doing super well. My lettuce seedlings, here I've got a zillion things. A lot of weeds mixed with a few actual seedlings. So there is some lettuce in here. I don't know if you can see. This one here is a lettuce. And here... I really, really need to come in here and attempt to clear out some of the weeds. And I'm thinking of even putting down cardboard or paper bags or something for weed control. I've never tried that before, but I've been saving up a stash of cardboard and paper bags to try to make sense of all of this foliage that's going on here. And in the midst of all these plants and weeds, I put in some uh, cantaloupe seeds and I think some honeydew as well because I planted peas on these little trellises and nothing grew. So I thought I would put in a climbing plant to see if that would grow up my little trellises. So I'm hoping something sprouts and I definitely need to sort out the plant situation and weed situation in here. And in the corner, we have our beautiful columbines. They are still going strong, although they are starting to go to seed as well, but still lots of fresh blooms on them. A very pretty plant. So this corner, we have our 
We have chives, which are flowering, and our ginormous potato plants. I don't know how tall these are, but I want to say they're almost as tall as the garlic. So they're probably like two, I want to say three feet tall at least. And I have been mounding them with dirt. I've done that multiple times. So I'm really curious how many potatoes I'm going to get. I also have my celery in here. Take a look at this. You can see it. That is celery and it is pretty much ready to harvest. So I need to get out here and actually harvest my celery, probably some kale and possibly the onions as well. So that's going to be all for today. Thank you so much for watching and we will see you in the next one. Have a good day.